Champions Week continues tonight with a team that was downright dominant throughout the season. 27-0, your Iowa Class 2A champions, Coach Jay Skideman and the Unity Christian Knights. Coach, thanks, and, and girls, thanks so much for coming down tonight. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah. Now, last year in 3A, Jay, you guys went on a bit of a surprise run, I think, to outsiders to the championship game. This year, you didn't have that advantage of sneaking up on anybody. How did the mindset change from last year to this year? Well, you know, definitely we went into the season uh, talking about expectations. You know, we told the girls not to be scared of them, you know, embrace them, have fun with it. And, uh, you know, we at the end of the season, we were right where we wanted to be with uh, the number one and the bullseye on our chest. And took advantage of it, obviously, yep. with yep. that trophy over your left shoulder. Cassidy DeYoung, a two-time all-tournament team selection, a future Northwestern Red Raider. Cassidy, how's it feel to win the school's first state title and to go out on top as a senior. Yeah, it feels pretty good. I'm just really thankful to be able to play two years in a row. A lot of people don't get to play there, and so I'm really thankful to have teammates that I have, and just to end, especially with an undefeated season, that's amazing, and it's, it's really exciting, and I'm happy to end my high school career like that. And just in dominant performance, too. You guys really controlled that game, the championship game, from beginning to end. Yeah, I think that was really good. Our team just really clicked together, and I think that was really good to see all the hard work throughout the season and to see what paid off, and so that was really exciting to see the last game like that. All right, five seniors off this year's squad will be moving on next year, but the cupboard is far from empty for these girls. One of the key returners next year, Shanda Zomermond. Shanda, an all-tournament team selection this year as well. What point during the year did you know that this year's team was special and had a chance to to get that trophy? Um, I think we knew since the beginning of the year. Like we were like, like Coach said, we knew we had expectations. But um, I don't know, I just feel like after we beat, had some good wins against Helan and Western and we just kept winning and we're like, wow, this could be an undefeated season. And we have just such amazing girls on this team and throughout the whole year, it was just so much fun. So yeah, we gotta give the glory to God for everything he's given us. And it's, it's just been an amazing year. All right, Coach, we'll wrap up quickly with you here. Even if you repeat and win a few more of these things before your coaching career is over, this, this year's team is always going to be special as the first. What, what are you going to remember most about this year's squad? You know, I think the hard work that they put in, uh, the effort and the focus that this group had, and, and, you know, it's just a great group of girls. I think throughout the year a lot of people said, too, it's just, it's just an easy group to cheer for. It's an easy group to pull for and, and uh, you know, going undefeated and, and coming back after a disappointing loss in the championship game the year before, um, you know, it shows a lot of heart, a lot of determination, and, and these girls deserve it. All right, that is Coach Jay Skideman and the Unity Christian Knights. We'll be right back with one last check of your forecast after this.